Hey guys, what's up? It's, uh, it's Andrew Wolf here, and um, practicing some uh, some skateboarding. You know, it's a uh, pretty nice day out. It's um, it's actually not really hot anymore. It, it's you know, it's gotten cooled down. You know, so it's uh, that's pretty cool. So you know, thanks God. You know, so it's feel, feels really good out. You know, dude. All right. Wrestling fans, our next contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, on the outside of the ring, the manager, Fabulous Frank. And he represents from anywhere but here. At a weight of 3,428 liquid ounces, this is Barney Rumble. in the corner to my right. Hales from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. At a weight of 235 pounds, the former D1PW Caribbean heavyweight champion, this is the Falcon. And the former D1 PW Caribbean heavyweight champion, the Falcon, in the ring. As he faces local hero, Barney Rumble, who we've seen several times on Division1ProWrestling.com TV. Barney trying to get the crowd involved as the hometown guy, and they're not having it. The people here love the Falcon. Fabulous Franks at ringside with Barney Rumble. Curly out of your vantage point, and down goes Barney Rumble at the hands of the Falcon. Don't know if this is going to be much of a contest. We'll have to wait and see. The Falcon's been on a roll. He's healthy, finally. And Barney Rumble has been tossed around by almost every competitor we've seen him against here at Division I Pro Wrestling. Frank simply at the side of, side of Barney Rumble, hoping that he can do some damage to the Falcon. Falcon went for a collar and elbow, got caught. Here's a side headlock in the center of the ring. And Barney Rumble is dumped and shoved off by the Falcon. The Falcon and Scott Commodity, of course, have the longest running feud in all of Division I for wrestling. And, of course, the, the Scott Commodity is now surpassed the Falcon as the longest reigning D1 PW Caribbean heavyweight champion. Needless by Barney Rumble. 
Full body slam in the center of the ring, and he's proud of himself, and the Falcon feels nothing. Picks up Barney Rumble, and sends him down hard. Clothesline by the Falcon, and he's on a roll here. Another clothesline by the Falcon, sends Barney Rumble down in the center of the ring. High, fast-paced action by the Falcon backdrop. Falcon cannot be stopped right now. Except for maybe by a thumb to the eye by Barney Rumble. Looking to build some momentum. Right hand. And another. Falcon staggered in the corner now. This is surprising. A chop. Lights up the chest of the Falcon. Shoulder tackle. Taking a little time. Another right hand. What's he waiting on? You have a chance to score the biggest win of your life. Follow up. Reversal by the Falcon. Into the corner goes Barney Rumble. There's the spear. Normally that starts the beginning of the end. And there goes the Falcon up to his perch on the top rope. High cross body on Barney Rumble. One, two, three, and it's over. Oh, it's Johnny Vandal. Where did Johnny Vandal come from? There's Fabulous Frank. Didn't know that Fabulous Frank had aligned himself with Johnny Vandal, of all people. New attitude Johnny Vandal, who hails himself as coming from your mother's bedroom. What a nice guy. Choking out the Falcon is Johnny Vandal. This has got to be stopped. Somebody's got to come out here and help the Falcon. Frank detaining the referee. He can't do anything. Oh, the Frank slapped the Falcon. What is he doing? And Barney Rumble's back in the mix now. There you see security trying to keep control of the situation. Coming to the aid of the Falcon. They are relentless. You've got to be kidding me. That's despicable Johnny Vandal. We'll have to talk to Fabulous Frank and find out what his problem is and how, why he's aligned with Johnny Vandal and Barney Rumble of all people. The Falcon having to be helped to the back. We'll keep you updated on uh, any further developments in this situation.